Hey everybody, is your truck wobbling slightly? It could be your hub bearing, and we're gonna show you an example of a decent problem that we're having on one side and the other side we're actually working on now, and it was, it was in rougher shape, but this is what's going on when your hub bearing gets a little loose. You see that slight movement? And that can cause that vibration and kind of pull feeling that you may be experiencing. So we're going to show you how to replace it. And I'll put some links to uh, this particular truck is a 2005 Chevy 2500 HD. If this is your model, I'll go ahead and put a link to that hub assembly in the description. Um, and if not, you can use that link and then search for your particular model. But anyway, here's how you repair it. So you feel it going down the road and you can hear it on this side. You, you especially feel it when you put on brakes. It almost feels like the rotors are warped, but they're not. It's just bearing that's loose. Very common problem with these trucks. We wanted to show you real quick how we have this caliper tied up here and how there's no stress on the brake line. We suggest you do the same. All right, everybody, to replace the hub assembly, you're first gonna need to take your wheel off and then take your brake caliper off. And if you need to know how to do that, just search for another video. But what we're gonna do next is actually take the rotor off. And the rotor has two little holes here, and you'll have to find a bolt that fits the thread correctly. But what we're gonna do is put these bolts in the hole which is going to push against, if you can see there, there's a little piece of metal in there that it's going to push against, and it's actually going to push that rotor right off for us. Three eighths. comes with most of them. If it doesn't, you just unhook it right here and put the old one back on it and feed it back up the way it came. And where's that connect? I always lay this. It's all the way up here at the shock. It's right in here, right there. You know, I also put this up here so I don't forget to put it back on, which is easy to do. See that O-ring in there? We'll be replacing that too. Here's that O-ring part number. Here's the hub assembly part number. We're putting a little Forma gasket on this dust shield. Now that the back's done, we're moving to the front, or vice versa. I'm gonna do both sides. So we've got a little silicone on here, and we're going to reinsert the O-ring. Just make sure it's seated properly in there. 
right, so next we're going to put some anti-seize on these splines so that when the wheel bearing goes bad next time, it'll slide right off for the next guy that replaces it. Okay, we're going to put some grease on this axle. And so the, where the axle meets the hub, it'll be lubed up. We're using just a multi-purpose grease. This one actually is a waterproof multi-purpose, happens to be, which is even better. So you don't want to crimp that speed sensor because that's an expensive part. Put, make sure we put the brake dust cover back on. Got to go into the spline of the axle, kind of wiggle a little and until she gets lined up like that and it's time for four bolts okay we're gonna clean the four bolts up that hold the hub on and after I brush them up a little bit we're gonna put Loctite 248 which is a medium strength I don't like to use the super strength because we want to take them off again one day This is the Loctite 248 that we're going to put on the bolts. I don't get real heavy handed with it because one day it's going to, have to come back off. Just want to make sure it, it comes off when we want it to come off and not going down the road. Just a little, a little on here will hold it as long as we want it to hold it. And if your lips get to bothering you, I would suggest not using this one. So starting the first bolt, I like to just kind of keep everything rocking a little bit. Start it by hand to be sure that it is started. The threads are, are not crossed. I always like to start all four of them by hand. That one is started, that's two of them. We'll go to the front side. Again, a little rocking action here. Always helps to get it started. Same with the bottom one. So we're getting ready to torque everything down and uh, as always, like when you're putting your wheels on, you want to tighten one, two, three, four, um, pretty evenly. You don't want to cause any stress or get anything warped. We're torquing these four 15 millimeter bolts to 130 foot pounds. That's 130 foot pounds. And the axle nut here is going to be torqued at 170. All right, guys, from here, you're going to put the axle nut on, torque it down to 170. You're going to need to put your caliber assembly back on. And don't forget to plug in your speed sensor there, as we talked about, to the connection point here. Um, and then just put everything back together. But hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this.